I am here vibing with one of Jamaica's true musical geniuses, a man who is a famed musician, studio engineer, producer, and educator. His parents named him Paul Henton, but we know him as... Computer Paul. Genius. Blessing, Great sir. man. <laughs> respect, respect. The man where the back of the like, scene and do some big things. <laughs> good it's to, a joy. Good it's a joy. Good it's a joy. Man. Good to be in the man's welcome presence. To, welcome brother. to boot camp. My humble abode. Humble? Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful abode, man. Beautiful abode, yeah? Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! As I say, it's, it's great to be in the, the great man's presence. I realize he's a, he's a humble gentleman. Sure. You understand? But the work that you have done says that you are great, sir. <laughs> Talk to yes, us, that's... though. Early life. Place of birth. <sighs> As far as I know, I think it was, um, I think it's Rollington Town. Rolling, okay. Yeah, Rollington Town. But my whole memories for me, growing up, everything is right here in Harbour Oh. Yeah, I came here at probably about six years old. Six years old, okay, yeah, okay. We are there from. From them time. Yeah, when the bus never even run through the scheme, we drop you at the round about and you have to walk up. So. I love that. That, that <laughs> I remember from baby days. Yes. Know? So, but a Rollington town, the earth, the formative, some of the formative yes, years were, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. How many brothers and sisters? I have one brother, one sister. Both of them yeah. are still with no, her? No, they're, they're gone. Both of them? Both gone. My condolences, I'm, man. I'm the only one standing actually in my immediate family. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So that means the old man and old lady, each other yes, as well? Yes, oh, yes. My father died when I was like eight years old, so. Oh. You know, my mother died so, about 12, 12 years ago. Yeah. Oh, 12 years ago, yeah. I thought you said uh, when you yeah, were 12. Yeah. No, man. So my condolences is really yeah. the old man and old lady. Yes. And also the siblings, man. Where you went to school, though? Harborview Primary. Right here in Harborview. Mm. And um, left Harborview Primary and went to KC, Kingston College. KC, yeah. old boy. And we're very proud of the <laughs> college, you know? Yeah, yeah we were a college, man. They're yeah, very proud of college, man. man. Yeah, yeah. You know? And whilst you were going to, to KC, was there anybody there at the time who got named in the music? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, several, several. Uh, you know, it was Sugar Minot was there, Augustus Paolo. He was probably a year or so before I actually went. Yes. Um, we had greats like Harold Butler, Tyrone Down, the keyboard player for the Wheelers. Yeah, numerous. Mikey Bennett, Donovan, Jeremy, and Gussie Clark was there in my time. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> and, and let me ask you a question now, because some of the names, all the names that you have called are mm -hmm. great men in their own right. Mm -hmm. Was the music program at KC back then kind of tailored to really unearthing musical talent? Yeah. There was no music no. program <laughs> at KC. Yeah? Music, no sir, no sir, that never exists. The music program was at a piano in the chapel, which was holy ground. So if you get caught playing it... Problem. Uh, problem. <laughs> yeah, that was it. And cadets. 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 Yeah, there was a little music program in Cadets. That's why I joined Cadets, because, you know, even Tyrone Downey was a member of the Cadets at that point. Too. But that's how I kind of got a kind of serious introduction. To, I was playing side drum. Oh. In, yeah, KC Cadet Band. So that okay. was kind of, you know, my introduction. introduction. But it was the piano. I always was interested in that piano, that piano in the chapel. And we get we get enough keening for that playing the piano. Then oh, the yeah? And ball after. So then ball after, you have to take away yourself and... You know, but yeah, you sit the sun up and you watch a great play, and you say, Oh, we have to wait till them done, and them gone, they can try to figure out bang, a, bang, a bang, one bang. card. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we still pick up that, yeah. that, that part of it. Mm -hmm. What was it like, though, growing up in Harborview back then from a financial perspective, though? We did poor, but we never know, so we're poor. I right, yeah, poor no, that, you know? when we think back, <laughs> when we think back on it, my mother's first dining table was a piece of ply. And two jump on, you know, I'll jump on. Right. But she could buy it nice with that table tablecloth cloth. and thing. And you know, never knew. And this, the seat them was some I'll jump too, some small like man, and jump with cushion and yeah, man. And we go, we we go. And turn but, fashion, man. Yeah, we well, see, Abbeville was a blessed community, and I think it still stayed that way today. You know, what I mean, we're poor, and Abbeville people who come from Abbeville, like who grew up here in the seventies, because I grew up here in the seventies, it's um. We're not frightened for things, and, mm. you know. Yeah, we grew up very Satisfying humble. And, yes, ah, 
Yeah, because you know the whole lady always say, you know, just be satisfied with what you have. Mm. You say the priest. So you, you mm. made mention now that your introduction to music was that piano, you know, the chapel down at KC. Right. But before you reached there, so was there any other musical influence? Exactly. My mother could read read music and she played the piano very well. Oh. Right. And um, you know, at some point she even taught music too. But she was really a teacher at the Harvard Primary School. Okay. I think in 1974 she bought a piano, which I still have to this day. It's the one that. No, there? no, oh, okay. no. I have to have a piano <laughs> house. But yeah, so, and that piano moved all over the world and, and came still right, right here. And mm. came back right here in Jamaica. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yes, right here. But um, yeah, she bought a piano and she used to play, you know, for the devotion in half of your primary school. And, you know, I'd always be listening to the piano and it's like I just had a fascination with, with but then, you know, you hear it and think. But when she got a piano at home now, you know, me get me you couldn't get me to go to the street and play no more. Me just skin to that piano, to that piano and you know, and my mother used to lock the piano because she used to hear some banging her piano. <laughs> you know, the whole time. Oh, where were yeah. you at this, at this yeah, young piano? Um, I'm still in still primary school. Still I don't think we start with KC yet. Oh, okay. So probably about nine, ten, mm. so much. Yeah, because we start with KC at yeah, ten plus or something like that. So, yeah, and she used to lock the piano and I always find a way for we go lock and open it. And every time she'd have come back, my sister would say, hey, mommy, pal, we play the piano. So, you know, you get your boss in our street, as you know, we are Jamaica, we can't. Yeah, man. So, it go on and go on until, I don't know if she change the locker, but me find a key now. That's how serious me was. You're serious, it's true, find a key and file on the key. And I say, yes, I have to open the piano. And the last year, she come on, my sister tell her, I say, pal, have a key when you use one piano. She just shake her head and that was it. She never locked the piano again after that. So that is kind of that, but it was ever tell you. I just play, but I don't know what I play. But I just yeah, there's love a player. Yeah, we just love it. Uh, and then so with Casey, you know, that kind of continued because exactly Casey there was just a... solidified the love fit. So by the time I reach fifth form, now Casey, you know, I, I leave school. I left in fifth form. Um, some friends of mine said they want to start a band. No, me just I learned to play. No, a few cards from the guitar. Oh, yeah, they took up a guitar yeah, this time. Yeah. Well, I had a virgin named Eisen who lived down the road and, you know, he had a box guitar. And I said, show, show me some cards, come on, this band. Because he was going to be in the band too. And show me some cards and try practice and practice and practice. And that was it. And we started a little band. Oh. I was mostly Kim, Casey students too. Oh, okay. The only person who was in Casey was Desi Jones. He was the drummer. He used to go judges. Oh, okay. Time. Okay. You know, so the band was called Time Dimension. Time you know? Dimension. Yeah. Based in Norman Gans. Oh, okay. You know, and yeah, so that was kind of the start, playing in a band. Uh, you know. Are you guys so were actually getting gigs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. We did gigs and we used to go to the North Coast, go to those shows. And oh, they're on the cabaret scene. Yeah, there, man. Was a, there was a show. I don't know what it was. I think it's Errol Lee used to host it. Well, I'm sure they're on TVJ. But well, we did that one night. Okay. Um, on a Saturday night. I know it was a popular show. You know, but yeah, we did that. So, you know, we're getting little gigs and stuff. I get a good groom in that too, man. Oh, good yes. Groom. Oh, yes. And it was the, the, the guitar you were playing yeah, in the band. Playing, I was playing guitar in the band. I was playing guitar <laughs> in the band. But, I you know, I get a story. Well, um, from playing, learning to play the guitar, an artist named Fred Lux, who's from Harborview. Great Fred Lux. Fred Lux. Fred Lux was the first person who took me to the studio. Yeah. You know, Fred Lux here said this youth I learned to play guitar and took me to the studio. And I was like, wow, oh, the studio. I've never been to the studio before in my life. And, you know, you hear about studios, so you don't know what it is. So, you know, yeah. I know the producer came from foreign. And actually, somebody who I know met later on again, his name is Jeff Sard. She's, oh, okay. Right, he has a radio program in New York. I know you. Yeah. Just had was a producer and went to studio. So they took another guitarist from Harborview to along, you know, and said, All right, turn up and you know, play guitar. Me excited. So even though me know two little cars, yeah. me excited. So go. first time walking into Treasure Isle. No, oh, Treasure, Isle. Treasure Isle. Isle. Yeah, Treasure Isle is like holy ground. I, don't, I think not long after that, the studio did lock down. Oh, that okay. was it. But going to Treasure and Isle. And you, because the one who was here at the time? Uh, no, 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 it was okay. Miss, Miss, um, what's your name again? Um, Pottinger. Sonia. Sonia Pottinger, right. She was in charge. <laughs> and Errol Brown was the engineer, engineer. at the mm. time. Yeah. So you know, we were going and thing and walking, you know, I almost get a heart attack, walking and 
who is on drum, slide down by. I want to see them people upon TV, you know, Robbie Shakespeare from Bass. Yeah. Um, Earl Wildindo Wild. from the Wheelers on keyboard. And a piano player named Tarzan. Like, oh. I don't know. <laughs> but me starstruck to begin with, walking and see all of them people. You know, you say, all right, excited still. I look at you, you're excited. You know, about 16, 17. 16, yeah. yeah. So, it's all right, boom. So, them say, right away, them ready for it. Work out the song now. So, them say, Fred Lux, we hear your song. When so, when? Fred Lux start, yeah, so, Fred Lux start singing now. Robbie Shakespeare say, hey. Let the guitars work out this <laughs> I know so now I'm in a studio at the, at the keyboard at the man. the keyboard yeah, man. Yeah, work out. Quick, quick, quick. Let the guitars work out the song. <laughs> so I said, all right, cool. I'm going to go and start listening. I'm going to know them cars there. I'm going to say, all right, figure out the cars them quick, quick. quick. You know, because I'm thinking look at you as the shop them time. You know, yeah. Ready for take the song now. And them say, all right, ready, ready for run it down now, you know. The next guitarist turned to me and said, Paul, you're going to play the leads, you know. I said, the lead? I, I don't know one skill. <laughs> and I'm telling you something, you're going to play the lead, lead guitar. You can be the old Marie. <laughs> so I said, Father God, I want this family today now. But I just said, all right. Let's rise to the occasion and start listening to what Rabbi Shakespeare play on the bass and pick a thing around it and yeah, and we're slice out of from the job. Yeah, man, you're the youth sound bad. I said, yes, that makes me feel good and that was it, and two tunes dropped that year then. So, so I know nice when or when. And next and name Wolf Wolf. Wolf Wolf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Two, two big tunes for Fred Lux dropped that day then. First session. You know, and I never first session? Yeah, first session. 16, 17 ish. Yes, I never looked back from the day there. It's like With Slide on Bar, Robbie Shakespeare, Shakespeare Earl Earl Ryan <laughs> You can't look back off of that, man. No, sir. And slide on bar and dance me and say, you're the youth, man. You're mad. <laughs> this was, as I said, you were still a teen, young, young yeah, boy. just graduated from KC. Because I'm going to say, I'm going to KC 10 plus, so mm. 16 plus. Maybe I see it. it was shortly after this now that you migrated to New York? Yeah, but even before that. Right. Um, I did a few other things. Sonny Bradshaw, I don't know if you heard of Sonny yes, Bradshaw, man. right? He was the president of JFM and thing, and he, he used to have a band that they did not cut, because, you know, Sonny had all the links mm -hmm. and, as a president. So he used to live in Harborview, on the other side of Harborview, and I don't know him here about me, that I just get my first bass guitar, you know, because okay. Jamaicans, you know, privilege, you know, like, to them abroad, things like a man get a, a, you get him drum set at five year old and the first guitar at seven, and, you know, so we're not privileged like that, so. About 17, 18, my uncle of mine who lived in New York bought me a bass guitar, a Fender jazz bass, which I have to this day still, and still in great condition. <laughs> and, um, you know, um, last with Trina thought. So, Sonny Bradshaw? Yes, yeah, Sonny Bradshaw, yeah. So Sonny, you know, say, you know, he, more, he, more, he need a bass player, so I'm saying, we can't come. So I had to go to Sonny's house now, rehearse with Sonny alone, him, and set up him like a organ, and me and Sonny alone on the veranda, and, you know, teach me how to read card charts and stuff like that. And, you know, some basic fundamentals, right. you know, and that kind of got me started. And so I toured with playing Sonny Bradshaw at the time when Dean Fraser was playing saxophone with Sonny Bradshaw. You mean the old sax? Uh, yeah, and Desi Jones, who I started with as a drummer, and my first band was also playing with Sonny Bradshaw oh, at the time. okay. You know, and from there, I think 1979, I played with Harold Butler. Mm -hmm. But they had a band called Four Corners. Yeah, I'm familiar did, with Four we Corners. Did we did Reggae Sun Splash the same night that Bob Marley performed. And um, we, I know we backed up Pam and Woody, AJ Brown, I remember. Not quite sure, I remember who else, but I know those we, we did back up. Um, and it was a great, great vibe, you know what I mean? But Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Because, and they were all. I me had a little green young musician amongst them because yeah, I was seasoned. You look at them, they were like and you prodigies. About, you about yeah, Pam, yeah, and Woody, yes. and AJ. Yes, and AJ Brown. Great you know? vocalist. Yeah, man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And um, yeah, shortly after that, that was 1979. And I think early 80s, or in a 79, I migrated, you know. Yeah, literally just a 79 yeah, still. Yeah, yes. For 70. 79, 80, mm -hmm. you migrated. What yeah. led to, 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 to that though? My family migrated from 76. Mm -hmm. And you know, me, I was always like the wayward, the wayward child. <laughs> yeah. You know, and um, 
I got married in 1977. So having a wife and everybody else, my is like, all right. So we kind of just did have to wait until certain papers did take care of. Right, and right, right. And rotate it. But um, so eventually I ended up joining my family there and, you know. When did you get married? 77. <laughs> <laughs> so then I had a boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. How old were so, you at the time? Yeah, man. This is, this is, this is, 21. 20, oh, 21. 21. Yeah, okay, 20, okay, 21. okay. Yeah. Yeah, my band, I'm not sure. My band, 1956. Okay, 21. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brooklyn, New York? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was it like on the musical scene there, so though? New York, for me, New, New York. York. No, I'm just a singer. Uh, New York, so. yeah. New York, outside of Jamaica, I'm going to say it with no apology. I love New York. Oh, you love New York? Yeah, I love New York. At this point, I would never want to live in New York again still. But I love New York. New York is a vibrant place. There's always something happening there. Mm -hmm. And you can always hustle a dollar in New York. And those are things that I appreciate. Then there were other things that I didn't like. And, right, know, right, right, right. I right. take on myself and come back on the yard. But um, New York for music was vibrant then. A lot of reggae bands and, you know. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I ended up as I went... I don't think it was a year after I was there. Actually, to be honest with you, I started playing with an African band named African Connection. Before Money. Before, before Money Aka. Before Money Aka. Never known African no Connection. What the name? African, African Connection. Connection. And they were all Africans. Some from <laughs> Sierra Leone, Nigeria. But and it was interesting because I didn't know. They were teaching me how, how reggae that base for African music is. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I was just used so, to reggae so music. So you're exposed to a yes. different type of music. Yes, yes. You know. and I loved it. I loved it. You know, they constantly go to Washington, D.C. Because, you know, there's a huge African population in Washington, D.C. Yeah. There's a club there, I think, called Kilimanjaro. But we go oh, yeah? regularly and play in D.C. You know what I mean? With African connection. It was a nice vibe. But were you I playing in African this, connection? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. Mean, so I was learning high life music and all kind of different traditional African music. Good school room, and, that man. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good yeah, school man. room, man. Yeah. 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 Some, some nice guys too. Mm. How long were you around them? I would probably think probably about six months or so. Mm. Yeah, and then I went to there's a street in New York in Manhattan called Forty Eighth Street where all the music stores were, and I went there one day and. Just browsing around, you know, musicians just go there and browse. It's like window shopping for musicians, you know. Yeah. And um, I saw this, this Rasta guy and, you know, made him start talking and asked me if I come from Jamaica. I said, yeah, and thing. And so if I'm a musician, I said, yeah, and tell some of play bass and thing. I said, you know, so we need a bass player for band. That was Moniaka. <laughs> Moniaka. And, you know, I, I can tell you something. I've never done an audition in my career, my entire career. I know that so I've never gone on an audition. As a musician, I said, right, we needed to audition to see if you fit in this band. It just happened. Everything just organically happened. You know, then tell, you know, say, come and rehearsal and come and plug yeah, in and thing, start playing. That was I, it. That. Yeah, and that was it. And it was a great group, you know, I, I must say. Yeah. Yaka. You guys did uh, God Yaka. God Yaka. God Yaka. God Yaka. That yeah. song. It was a big, big hit. Billboard charted. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, yeah. Billboard top. It went top of the pops in the UK. You know, so oh, number it did. seven. Yeah, man, number seven. We, our video, we didn't actually fly to, to, to London to, to do top, to, of the pops. top of the pops, but they used our video. Oh. And it was, yeah. I so didn't know that. Seven. Yeah, man, top of the pops. 1981 or 82. Yeah, one of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Man, big, and it was big, and WBLS and. All the, you know, the Hot 97 type stations were playing it, you know, it was popular in the clubs too. So, they make a money there, sir? <laughs> Somebody make a money Somebody make some money. <laughs> Somebody made a light note too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's how it go. That's how it go, you know. You learn in you this learn. business. You, <laughs> you, you, See, you get a first you glimpse of the music yes, business. First taste. Because that record company, not so long after that, we started say, hey, where the money gone? They folded. They folded. Yeah, and you know, duck on after a couple of years, then they come up with a new name and yeah, the business and we we'll learn. Fix and trade <laughs> yes, matches yes. back, eh? Yes, I saw it go still. You have to get burned. <laughs> you have to get burned for learn. Yeah, well, you have to get burned for learn. <laughs> so, New York then, early out, was good to the man, man. Can't complain. Can't complain. I think, <clears throat> more to complain about New York 
teach them is I think I stay a little too long at foreign. That's mm. that's more outside of that. You know, I'm saying I love New York. New York vibrant and you know, summertime I don't think there's nowhere else in the world like New York City. Yes. And if, if, in Jam even Jamaica to get around New York City, it's summertime because the whole city is alive. And there know? are many things yeah. to do. Yeah. Mm, many gigs. But you 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 went on the road with Moniaka. Moniaka, yeah, we, yeah, we toured quite a bit. Yeah, I know? think you guys went to Japan. Or you no, went to Japan? No, I, I know I went to Japan. Cause see, while I was playing with Moniaka, myself and the guitarist, and I think one of the keyboard players, we had two keyboard players. We used to we used to play in the studios. Oh, you know, okay. Oh, you're doing session session yeah. work. Yeah, man. Cause that was where that is how all the work with Ski and Success and Sister Carol and all that came out. Oh, so now, yeah, them were at the one. No, no, hundred oh. meter college. So Ski and Success. Oh yeah, but yeah. No, So Ski and Success. Um, done that already. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, New York. That was the first set of tune they were doing in New York where people are Jamaica here and think it was Jamaica they'd make. Oh. Barrington Levy Murderer. Murder. All of them song they was We soon talk about the song there. Yes, <laughs> we soon song. talk about Okay, cool, yeah, cool, man. cool. So, so during that was during Maniaka time, you know, me had do all of that. Uh, and you were playing bass. bass. Right, I was playing bass mostly. But I was playing keyboard too sometimes. If the work called for keyboard player, yeah, play I was the hustling too, you know what I mean? Makes sense, man. Yeah, man. Makes sense. Yeah, man. I never make it left way, you know? Yes. And it was in this time now that you discovered the computer part of any? No, no. that come a little, a come little, a little later. A little come later. A little, yeah, come a little later. I would say, we're just doing things in the studio then, a lot of recording and, you know, things were going fine until we hear, oh, I'm missing thing here. Oh, no. I was like, oh, what that? Uh, you know, I said, this new music, I yeah. <laughs> love that. Oh, you do that? I don't say if five men at the studio play now nah, yeah, the that sound it. So we start dig now cover for five minutes. We'll create what? a sound it. Oh. So hence now, my first trip to Japan in 1985, I went with Max Romeo. I don't hear them in Yeah, yeah. Max. <laughs> <laughs> Great Max Romeo. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. I say go. Yeah, what I say go. Um, yeah, so while I was in Japan now, you know, check out the music store and there's this Japanese man demonstrating this Atari computer and hook up a couple of keyboards to it and he was playing bass and drums and piano and I was like, that wicked, I've never seen a sequence. It was actually mm. a sequence. Sequence, that, right, 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 right. Well, you know what I mean? I must say, boy, that is what I want. You know what I mean? When I go back to New York, you now I start to say, oh, I can't get this computer now. But couldn't get a whole lot of Atari. So, my version of mine, yeah, we used to work at RGR, mm. right? Um, say, check out the I IBM, the mother, what you call it, IBM XD clone. No, that time was big like the, co the, the keyboard. <laughs> the keyboard. Yeah, massive. Big. And they used to use floppy disks. Some disks were about this big. And them floppy for children. No floppy disks. You sure? <laughs> you sure? get you your last part. I get <laughs> Yeah, man. And we get one of that and that was it. Yeah. And hence now I start to some things in my apartment now and start to build some rhythm. I was like, that yeah. Creative. Yes, and that is where the name Computer Power come now. There was a singer in a New York, very popular at the time, named Winston Jones. You know the name. Yeah, man. And he had a couple of hits and stuff. Because he used to carry the studio as, you know, basically. Right. The, the drummer named Danny Marshall. Big up Danny Marshall still, because he's a great drummer. You understand what I'm saying? And um, during that time, man, you know, I always put my name as, on the record as Paul Hinton. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, there's one record that he did. And I did the whole arrangement and everything. Everything? Yeah, yeah everything. Drum, everything. And I'm saying, you need to change that name then, you know, you're not going to hit with that That's name. That's Paul, Paul Hinton. Hinton. Yeah, nobody knows business about that name. I'm like, Mr. what's my real name? Right. So I'm saying, it's all right, man. I'm just give me a, shrug me up. It's all right, man. I'm walk away. The next time I see him about a week later, he give me a record. I said, look on the back of that. Computer I'm trying to say version computer part. So people I never give myself the name there. It was so, given yeah, to you. Winston, Mr. Winston Jones from New York gave me. And I always acknowledge him and give him the respect for that. You know what Fitting mean? name, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. And the name, the great name, Computer Paul, was born. Yes, it and was. And it was given to you by... by Mr. Winston Jones from New York. Winston Jones. You had made mention now about C and Success and Sister Carol mm -hmm. before. Right. Zane, so those tracks are tracks that you were playing bass, bass on. That you played bass, bass on, on those songs. Yeah. And so, so we talk about Done Dead Already mm -hmm. with C and Success. Mm -hmm. um, in the ghetto, Sister in, Carol. Yeah. Um, for... Um, 
100 Beta Caliweed, Carlton, Carlton Livingston. Livingston. Big tune yeah, that to the brother. Murderer Barrington Levy. Big tune that to the brother. Yeah, man. <laughs> See, and success through yeah. now. Our world tune yeah. theater. Um, put it on. Um, quite a few skin. Because Jalife was the producer. Oh, I don't know if you know. You're familiar I, with I, the name. I'm on right. Many, many people have spoken. Carlton oh, yeah. Livingston yeah, spoke, spoke a lot up, about Jalife. We have a big up Jalife and Percy from New York, two producers as well. Did believe in our as youth and invest in our way and carry studio constantly and make we learn the craft. So we have to always give them the respect. King so. Clive won't talk to me a lot yeah. about your life. So some yeah, quite man. a few people. Yeah. yeah? So, so some of those big songs you were on them from early on. Mm -hmm. And that is when you were in New York. Yeah. And as I said, yeah. people are yeah. yard. Never I, know. I said, I yard song them there. All right. I'm going to tell you something. Prior to us doing them, the series of tune there. You used to have reggae bands in New York and make records, you know, and good records too. But the people in New York wouldn't buy them. Because it's almost like back then they would have to try to trick the people and say, Made in Jamaica. Made in Jamaica. To put up to, for people to buy a New York produced record. Mm. But that was the first set of tunes you know, that came and brought that mold that people didn't think care. I, and them the quality them of the music was there. Yeah, they think it was. So big up oh, Philip Smart too. Kind of and even though he's not with us anymore, but Philip Smart was a pioneer for, for New York reggae music. And, you know, we have to just seal up and give the man them, them, them props too. Coming in from Santa. Mm. So Computer Paul was born now, yes, yeah? Yes. And you were experimenting and creating some sounds. Mm -hmm. Not just going with, with the trap set and, mm -hmm. but on the computer. Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. You eventually moved from New York to Florida? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yet hold on, and before we do that, was there any amount, any other work done before moving to Florida from New York that we not talk about yet? Um, you know, yeah, quite quite a bit of stuff, you know. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, when, before I even moved to Florida, I was coming back and forth. Oh, okay, okay. This right. is the 90s now, and that is the Shaba era now, where we work with Bobby Digital and Stone Love, and you know, so that was during that time where Dancehall was at its CD. I think so too. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think so too. So, 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 even in that time now, before going to Florida, you were in and out of Jamaica mm -hmm. and you were doing work with some of the biggest producers locally at the time as well. Because yeah. you mentioned yeah. Bobby mm -hmm. and Chaba, so that around yeah. a jamming side around this at the time. No, no? I, that was Bobby. No, that, that was, was Bobby Street straight up. Bobby. Yeah. yeah, that was when Bobby did just leave jammies and oh. start build up a moon thing on a UN then. Okay, you yeah. mentioned Stone Love yeah, too man. and them something there, yeah? Right. So, but you moved to Florida eventually though. Yes. Zane? Mm -hmm. And whilst in and out of Jamaica, were there any songs recorded at that time that were huge success? Yeah, man. Like, yeah, man. Quite a few. Um, yeah, apart from the Shabba stuff. So, the Shabba stuff was as raw as ever? Yeah, well, two albums. Or Respect. Then. Yeah, Respect was, I think, the second album. The, okay. Album, but as raw, and as raw as ever, I did two tracks, which is Gun Pan Me and Woman Tangle. Them two tracks upon And that, you played? Uh, everything. Every everything. Yeah. Everything? Everything. Drum, bass, everything. You know, which has kind of been my life story still, you know. You know, most in our reggae music, we have crews, you know. Right. We have <laughs> Sly and Robbie, Steely and Cleavy, Mafia and Floxy. Mm. Yeah, Firehouse crew. I was kind of like that, like a single man. Just a weave through and go through, you know what I mean? Genius, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are everything. <laughs> and as raw as ever was... Grammy Award yes. winning oh, album. Yes. Oh, yes. Big up yourself, man. Yeah, man. Give you know thanks, man. You know what I think about? Because I thought as, when, when you work with Shabba, when you come back a yard, you know? No, no, But you man. see, I no, learned, we are learned, you know? No, man. And 1998 returned. 98? 98. Eh. Yeah, man. So that means, uh, oh, so, because I think 90s. 94, mm -hmm. you were involved in mm -hmm. the Carter I Redeem. Right, yes. With yes, Stone yes, Love. Yes. Yes, yeah, man, that was my uh, everything. And you played Play everything. everything on Carter, right? yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man, that was done at Jack Scarfio studio. Yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah. And th what is the relationship with, with, with you and Gangali from Louis Culture? You, you, know, you actually you... did production work on no, that? Man, no, man, no, no, that was, that was. I know it's on the radio. It was still, yeah, mm. so it's still love. I actually, but Louis is a great artist. I worked with Louis one time, and there was a, come, a sugar miner song. I had sugar miner and Louis culture. I don't remember which. I think oh, um, 
Ai, 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 um, smile, da, 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 da. No vacancy. No Should vacancy. Did it over, but it's okay. in combination with Louis Culture. Okay, okay. Boot camp label. Oh, that, bo oh, so boot camp was formed. Yeah, man. 1998 boot camp was formed. 1998. Yeah. yeah, man. First. Yeah. Yep. So, Carter I read him. Mm -hmm. Zane, we, we spoke about the, 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 the Carlton Livings and everything mm -hmm. so far, or the Gangali and all them. You man, I build a thing around one part, one of man. Other rhythms that you were involved, M16. Yeah, M16 came 1999. 99. Yeah, 99. Because I say we started boot camp 98. The first rhythm was a rhythm actually called Dirty Boot Rhythm. Dirty Boot Rhythm? Dirty Boot Rhythm, yeah. Oh, yeah? And we, we actually got a number one song with Little Kirk and Alley Cat. One away one. One away one. Away one. <laughs> I know the tune, man. Yeah, man. I never know that you're a tune. Yeah, man. All this time, I think uh, a Patrick. No, them man. Thing. <laughs> oh, that was my production. Yeah, man. Okay. You know, I have Sean Paul, Dream, Dream, Dream. Dream, Dream. Panda, really. Right. We have Elephant Man, Lady Star. Yeah, man. Some names. Yes. Planets, you know. Then, I think in 2001, you did the Extreme Rhythm. Yeah. I don't remember quite the year, but oh, yeah, okay. man. I did Extreme Rhythm for you. Um, in the streets, which was Vegas and... Uh, and you, yeah, right, right, right. And yeah. you played everything, yeah, pan man. Yeah, man, most of it. So the rhythm now we are called now, you play everything, pan Too them. much. So Too X Street much. Bondage. Uh, bondage, I'm not familiar with. Uh, you know, you know, a rhythm named Bondage? 2001, there, there, boy? No? I, I, well, maybe read it somewhere. If you yeah, if, you see, what a lot of times, too, <laughs> would, it, would I get the song, the rhythm and name? Because, oh, okay. you know, I was back and forth. Right. Yeah, why? And um, it would have come out, but it usually named after, after the big tune for the rhythm. True, that. Makes so sense. Makes sense. So we can call it um, mixing board, Mix. but they come out in the name keyboard because I'm <laughs> yeah. DJ keyboard and keyboard at the body song, so it named yeah. keyboard with it. You have a rhythm yeah. named Bollywood? Yeah, man. Oh, Bollywood okay. I did for industries as well. And that, that was a, a big rhythm, yeah. you know. Bulldozer? Yeah, Bulldozer for Bobby Digital. Definitely. Um, Casablanca. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was me and, and the legend Sly. Sly, oh, yeah, yeah Sly. Yeah, yes, man. Yeah, the uh, legend Sly and that, yeah, man. Yeah. The man, not up in the limelight, but mm. when he's going to the studio, yes. greatness and, I do. Yes, man. And during that time, too, we kick off the career of Vibes Cartel. 99. Yeah, 1998 or 9, 99. 98, 99. Yeah. What, 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 what kind of role you play there? I was going to bring up Cartel later when we talk about right. Tanya Stevens right. and, and Stevie Face right. and them people later. Right. No, right. man, when you bring it up, talk, talk right. to me. <laughs> well, yeah, because he was one of them. Actually, I was working with Gandhi, artist from Portmore. Ras Gandhi. Yeah, man. Mm. And I, I think Gandhi was the connection. But Vibes Cartel at the time was a group. It wasn't the one individual, it was a group. Adi Bantan. Yeah. And I think the next DJ is Mr. Wang. I don't Mr. Remember. Wang, yeah, yeah man. Yeah man. And they were a singer, you know what I mean? And they did one song named Drive Drive By. You know, okay. Yeah, Drive By. Play a lot still, you know, because you know, one of them sang there. But um at the time, Carter was the writer and fighter when pick up seems a good songwriter, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. he was the one writing the material. You know, Mr. Wang did have a flow, so you know. And um, you know, after my move, I had a studio up by thing there, Mona. Oh, okay. Because I'd rented a space from Peter. I brought my equipment down, mixing board, everything, but I didn't set up a facility here yet. Oh, okay. So I'd rented a space from Peter Blake. I'm a big up Peter Blake too, cause you know it will support me to when on the journey. We come in and thing. And Peter enough respects there. And we up there for a while, and um, I do a thing, and I was say during that time, that's when we meet. Cartel and not long after that, now I built the studio here and I said, All right, cool. And Cartel used to come here for almost like a year, okay? Every yeah, and we have a little crew, we have built a little crew. And, and he was apart from the group, no, he was solo now, vibes Cartel now. But he was an artist and quiet, and him, you know, if you say, Boy, Cartel, write a song for the female, quick, 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 yeah, man, see this one, and that's what I say, Yeah, you know, what I mean, never hear me. Even Talk loud. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, man. That, that is the cartel of me, you know. You understand what I say? You know, and, you know, the voice never mature yet. But I know that he had extreme talent. And mm -hmm. I know it was just a matter of time. You know what I mean? And during that time, now, I had a rhythm named Y2K. And Y2K. I wanted a song from Killer. 
and you know so this is the real story now because i heard versions of this story. The real story all right so <laughs> and during that time now carter said why paul i'm gonna write a song for killer but i make make sure the killer come voice for your label and that was it and killer came he heard it and came in a voice it boom um Shortly after that, that at, uh, if a while I did all the world. Yes, yeah, man, that was the song. Shortly after my version was released, me heard for another rhythm. Oh. I'm gonna say, uh, what that? So Killer ended up voicing it over for Jamis, them I think. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, but um, that was the association that brought Killer and Cartel. That is how they met. And from that now, killers, you know, him, him can recognize right, talent. Right, right. Yeah, him can do that too. That, that youth, yeah. <laughs> he he start roll with that youth. So him have him a roll with him at the time. So after that, I really saw Cartel after that. So that's the real story. Yeah, but you yeah. were instrumental in but this. But remember er, still. In, 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 in the early man. years of Vibes Cartel, yes, looking. Man. Yeah, man. And, it's you know, breaking the music. Yes, man. I'm trying to groom him and prepare him about keys because, you know, he's still having a little key issue. Mm. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah, man, we introduced them to all of that and, you know. Yeah, we soon get around yeah, to man. other people. Eh? <laughs> you, you, well, cause we never talk about that, but you came back home mm -hmm. eventually. Mm -hmm. Which year you came back? Like, like, like move back. That's the 98, 99. 98, 99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. 98, 99. So, yeah, enough of foreign time. Enough of foreign. Yeah, man. And it was before you came back or whilst you were here that the, the relationship with Akon kind of emerged? Well, the, the, the relationship with Akon is really, he used our track. Because we did a recording in Miami. Actually... You know, studio there, a foreign, and you say, Yeah, go check your bridge in at the studio. Right. I think Mr. Palmer was the engineer, and we got there, and it just happened that Bobby Digital was there the same day, Dalton Brown was there the same day. Yeah. And I say, With Paul and Dalton there, get a drum and a and do something, man. That was it, and that was how the track come. So, so that same track was used for, um, thing there, um, Gentleman and Sizzler. Both were on that track. Okay. And then they, they used it. Oh. So and it's Convicted yeah. Album? Yeah, on the Convicted Album. Okay, so I thought it was like, you know, no. your A can link up. No, on. no, oh. no, 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 no. But Mr. The Plaque Up Beta, yes, so that yes, means yes, uh, once involved in credit, yes. credit has been given. Oh, yes. Duly so. <laughs> Big up yourself, man. Yeah. yeah but you know. actually did That's work with him well. I know. So there was, I think, on his Mama Africa mm -hmm. song. You, yeah, you, that was the, the that was the track. That was a track. That's our track. Yeah, man, that was okay. me the track. Yeah. yeah, man, that was a track. Actually, that track started with a keyboard phrase. That was the intro that I came up with, and then that was it. That was everything just fell into place from around that initial keyboard phrase. Yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. Greatness one. <laughs> um, you, 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 at any point in time, you do any work with Inner Circle? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Inner Circle, no. Um, I was living in Florida then. Oh, okay. And they wanted remixes on both of their hits. Because, you know, Bad that, Boys that and days, Sweat. Them days you had 12 inch. Right, right. And you right. had to have a remix song. Mm -hmm. so, oh, okay. Right. So, uh, both songs we did, I did remixes. You did for, re yeah, yeah, for both of those Inner Circle songs. Yeah. You would have established yourself by this as one of the go-to persons in the music. Yeah, I would say I would say so. Mm. Um, during the nineties, yeah, I worked quite a bit as you a musician. Quite a bit. Yeah, and we are going to talk about some of the songs them now mm. that we didn't talk about yet mm -hmm. that you appeared on, and and I guess some of them you actually even produced them as well. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. So we talk about murder already from Barrington mm -hmm. Levy. Right. Yeah, we talk. And that was live band days. Live band. Yeah, that was live band the, days. The, we have four or five musicians in the studio in New York. Yeah, yeah. That World the, song man. Yeah, that wasn't the what we call computerized. Computer. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred meter Cali. We, 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 we spoke about that from Carlton right. mm -hmm. Livingston. World song that. Yes. World song oh, yes. that. Yeah. Them dead. Already, which is a sea and mm -hmm. success. Mm -hmm. Sound killing song that we ever, oh, ever, yeah. ever, 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 
there was a legendary producer called Willie Linda. Still, Willy not Linda. was, Willie Willy. is, because it's still there about. Willie, yeah, yeah. big up yourself. No, no man, Willie there of Florida, man. But you know what I'm saying, man, come home sometime, you know what I mean? No, Willie's a man or two, like, <laughs> the, two flying, two. You know, like the flying things. Yeah. Uh, ship, it, ship, ship things for Willie. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, so I hooked up with Willie while I was in living in Florida, and it was a great connection because out there came many hits, mm. you know what I mean? And I think the first real hit that, that we put out was um, did juggling with um, first cut and love you too much, we and we, had, we, and we had. yeah, you know, yeah, and pretty much, pretty much, you know, that was me doing, you know, everything. Uh, uh, Willie, you know, Willie is one of them serious producers, you know, I'm not really confident, nobody for. So you, know, you played on first cut? Yeah man, yeah man, yeah man. I did the I did the entire track. <laughs> yeah man. Love you too much, weird yeah, weird. Man. Yeah man. Yeah, you man. did everything. Everything, on. everything. Willie never even play guitar and if you go back and listen to that record you won't hear a rhythm guitar, not even a rhythm guitar. I was like, Mr. Will you now put on the guitar and say, No, Paul, it's alright as it is, make it stay. <laughs> Them the song, they don't want yeah, the big song, they are the classics yeah, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the music, you yeah, know, Paul? Oh, yeah, I know. Paul. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I, think, I think I've been blessed <clears throat> to say that a lot of the songs that I played back then still relevant somehow today, and they still play. Because the music had soul, sir. Play. Yeah, thank you. The thank music you. had soul, man. Thank you. Yeah? Thank you. When all is said and done, things are still up. Yes, after all is said and after done. After all is said and done. Yes, that's another, that's a, my production. And you, you did know, everything that was, around. No, that was me and Benji Myers. Oh, yeah, and the great Benji yes, Myers. Oh, yes, the great Benji Myers. Big up Talented. My, big up my friend Benji Myers, too. <laughs> Talented. Because you and Benji work on time as you well. You know, well, time was all me now. Time was all me for Bobby Digital. Yeah, Dean Fraser come in and play. And, and play. And that time, I think, probably put rhythm guitar on it. But outside of that time, that was me. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Tell it like it is. Yeah, man. Stevie, Stevie Face. Face. All me. Everything done right in other studio space. Yeah, so. And I was so talking about Stevie. And yeah? In the living years. And in the living years. Yeah. Beautiful song, man. Wake yeah, him up, tell, me up say, with you. Him tell me, say, are you. Um, Encourage him to sing that song. Yes, man. Beautiful, yes, man. beautiful yes, song, man. man. Beautiful yes, song. Man. See? Waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Ghost. Ghost. Right here, too. Right here, sir. Yes. I, I, you know, ironically, you know, that record, the day when Ghost come for Vice or song there, he bring in two youth near Monster Twin. Yeah, I know Monster uh, Twin, yes. man. And Monster Twin, them, <coughs> when Ghost done Vice, them coming and see them, I say, Father, don't try your thing upon the thing. Me, me, your thing. You know, me, your thing. So I say, go on now. We don't know where I'm going to put on the sand because the ghost done bad it up already. <laughs> man, I say, man, no normal. If you listen to that record, you go going to hear, man, no normal. Just a little, and it just come, out, come in randomly. No, it was not sample. It was not sample. It, so it, it wasn't that ad lib, really. No, it was man, no normal. No, I know I have nothing to do with what ghosts are singing about. But it's wicked. But it's wicked. They are always need it. I don't know what else to tell you. It just did wicked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. Man, no, no, man. Yeah, cause that's the magic of music, you know. So sometimes some spontaneous things just happen. That's a great and music come, yeah, to and come together, man. Sometimes if we're being too perfect, we, we chew it we are you know, appreciate it. But sometimes we just have to make some little spontaneous things. I true, boy, I true, I true. Stranger in love. Sugar miner. Sugar man, sugar man. Sugar booga booga. That was done <coughs> for Don Juan in New York. Don Juan, okay. Yeah, I did everything on that as well too. Um well, except Hans. Oh, okay. Tom. Um, Kevin Bachelor and Jerry Harris, big them up, them at the hand section for that. It was mixed by the great scientists. Scientists? Yeah, at Don Juan's studio. But Don Juan, big up yourself too. Mm. Yeah, Roofing my girl, Richie Spice. Oh, yes. World uh, song. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> that, I never forget the day I laid a track. It was a tough gang. Uh, I think Clive Hunt was the producer. If I can remember, the great well. on. but I just finished a session and I was just getting ready to leave. I don't know who was supposed to come and work with Clive, but I don't know if the person ever showed up. But him say, Paul, you know, there you can lick the rhythm. Whatever I think I know, man. 
I remember Richard Spice singing in the studio and they looked very nervous today because the first time that in, in at the studio. But I know so well, from me opening mouth, I said, that song is wicked. I never hear yeah. no, me never hear a song like this yet. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I reckon we just lick it and pack up my things and leave. And, and a couple of years, I never hear that song there. Right, because like, it took a while. Yeah, I heard, heard one or two times on the radio. But this is when that song is so keen. It's one of them songs there. Woman especially. I never meet a woman yet. We don't love that song, man. Moving my girl. A true wife. You know, a true. So a true, true yeah, yeah. yeah. God is standing by. George Nook. Same thing. Same thing, you know. Same kind of vibe like Stevie's song. It's one of them songs that George Nook bring the song to me and say, why more like that song? And I say, all right, yeah, it's a good song. And I remember, my bill already, man, George, you like a rough voice on it. And I said, all right. When I'm gone, I said, you know, something I like that. I'm going to scrap it and start over from scratch again. Call him next day. I said, George, come, come by. I said, no, it's ready. And I'm coming in and I said, why? I hope George, because you know the, the correspondence song, they're very high. Right, right, right. So right. I hope George can handle it because after this, I read him and him sing the verse sweet. And man gone. I said, because them tired of sampling just a come in, samplers. Right, so, right, right, so, right. But if I can get one good chorus, I'm going to sample it and fly it in. Mm. I sing the first song, I say, yes. All right, I push it now. I said, because we can sing another one. Right. I'm sing another one and sing the third one. I say yes, Father, and that was it. You know, see, I had, I had my friend Jemiah's big up Jemiah's as she comes sing the, all the beautiful background vocals from God is standing. I've by. been trying to locate Jem. I get a no number for her, and I, I try to I will her. definitely find her for you. And and, and yeah. we're not find. Well, Scotty been trying to get her. Oh yeah, yeah no get man, yeah, uh, well fine. She said no man right to she have. No so. man, we're gonna find her. All right, no problem, man. So big so, up yourself. So Jem so was <laughs> on the the background vocals. Uh, yeah, Jem alone. Jem alone. Jem alone. Did all the harmonies on God is standing by. Beautiful song, man. And Fata. Fatai's, 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 Fatai's. Fatai's. Okay. Was the one who mixed it. Oh, okay. yeah. So that was greatness, the, man. Yeah, man. So the whole circle is like greatness, brother. It just, it just happened. It just blew up, you know. Greatness, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Move off the bomber. Cut the ranks. Ah, cut the ranks. That that was arrows. Arrows. Yeah, that was the first with the milk for arrows. You no, know, me and arrows have a long history because I used to work at Jamaica Telephone Company. Oh. Yeah. Nineteen seventy. I think 78 to about So just before years. you show out? Just before me show out, I ah. worked at Jamaica Telephone Company. I was working at Carlton Exchange. Okay. In the telephone exchange. And Philip Linton, was, who was arrows, was working also as a technician there. Mm. So, you know, fine. So he might have saw me. I go studio, right, yeah, right, so right. we just make a connection and from that we just always kept the connection. So even when we migrate and come back, I'd always check him because I know he might arrows dub studio I go on and it was not a recording studio it was just a dub studio mm. and you know we would always come check him and thing and him say why he wanted some recordings and not the dub studio that oh lip, yeah yeah not the dub studio i think i must have the track that lip one me not think not more than your no. track yeah you know and yeah, i think cut to the dip on the rhythm there i remember we and one that did sing panda rhythm that i don't remember who else they do but yeah so okay. that was that was arrows and that was kind of like what the first rhythm when we look at jamaica where people start Call my name and I said, oh. yeah, But my problem them time was me live a foreign. Mm -hmm. So every time my name start call, me go there's a foreign. No face. There's yeah. no and, presence. And there's no presence and there's no face and me not there. So when the man said, boy, I'm a the musician. They can't find because me. you then get a little more work based yeah. on the quality oh, yeah. of work that oh, you're yeah. doing. Yeah. <laughs> Jigsy King, Tony Curtis, any money you want, you mm -hmm. can get. Stone Love. Stone we Love. Like a frag with him, yeah. Yeah, frag, frag yeah. frag for sure. Yeah, and that was a time when I just said, boy, I try experiment with some different thing. And if you listen to that record, they hear, oh, if I sub. Mm. <laughs> well, if I experiment. Yeah. Yeah. If I go do that yeah. now, that you said. Yes, yes. Hey, you know, we listen to the music and we don't have no context behind it sometimes. But now mm. you said that. Yes. It's like um, waiting for you with ghosts. Mm. I'm going to listen to that. Man, yeah, no, man, 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 man. Yeah. man, no, man. Man, no, man. Hit song that again. Jigsy and Tony Curtis. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes. Because they have Sprague and Bobby Crystal and the whole man the panda juggling there. A big juggling for Stone Love. God, I love one time the man them say I'm me a Stone Love musician. You know oh, I mean? yeah? yeah. <laughs> Little Era and the late great Leonard Merciless Bartley. Yes, God, I that love was Gaddafi. 
Gaddafi right. was the producer. You know, them time them in and out of mixing lab. Cause you know Sly the big man still and <laughs> he have film things set up. So you have, you have to wait till Sly take a day off, you know. What I mean? Yeah, you're going. They were going and get a little, you know. <laughs> but you know, Gaddafi was one of them you, they were that support with them time there. Mm. And, yeah, so yeah, God alone and um we did the little rhythm with Tennessee the advice, big ninja bike pan. Oh, okay. Yes, for for Gather for them too. Gather for yeah. No argument. Rodney Basil, bound to kill a price. Oh, well, that has spawned the bulldozer rhythm for Bobby Digital. Oh, okay. Yeah, so again, yeah. Mm. And Bobby gets a whole heap of good rhythms from me in our career. That me Bobby I realize at all. Yeah, man. You know. <laughs> Rampage. Rampage with the great Mark Bojabant and Mary. Yeah, that, that, that was an interesting one, Carl. <coughs> well, you know, Bujo was with Penthouse for right, years. Right, right, right. You must say the engineer decided, said, you know, they're going to go and do them. Sell block. Because every artist grew up here and True. sometimes you just want to split. You just want to do your thing. I, mean, I understand that. Thing, you know. That's why I mean, not no animals to no artists who leap from amongst me. Right. Because it's like your child. If you have a child when they reach 21, they want to go, go get a woman and go live from them own. So I understand that thing there. So, you know, we go there and I say, you know, something I got to link them and get. Because, you know, still, I was my brethren still. I will go there and link to him the day, you know. But that rhythm there, I think when Bougie did come hear it and him say, yeah, that one day him like. And mm -hmm. that was it. So that was kind of like a housewarming gift to them. To sell black. Yeah, no charge. We just do it and <laughs> left. Cause, you know, we have a thing in the business. And to this day, I'm still Love, that man, thing there. Love, man, a unity, yeah, man. man. Yeah, man. Support, Musici man. Musician and engineer. We don't charge them for music. We we'll go mm. anyway. And we get the same reciprocation from, right. from uh, other uh, people. Right, right, you know what right. I'm saying? Slide them. We can call Slide. We can call Dean Fraser. You know what I'm saying? Big up the whole of them because them ever, if I call them, I say, come do a thing for them me. They're my forward. Come. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah. Two, uh, there are two Capitan songs where I know you do, you do work on Lock Up and Critic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think uh, Lock, uh, lock Up was... Black Up was, was Bollywood, yeah. Which Bollywood was, really, yeah. okay. Right. And Critics was my production. Yeah, man. Okay. M16. M6. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. what I'm going to do is have all of the song them for all of the rhythm them match up yes. with yeah, them. Yeah, right. that's, 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 that's right. That's right. You know what I think? Yeah, man. I'm big up Peter Chemist, because he was mm. the man who mixed. M16, I'm doing a wicked job, because M16, and the way you're to the world. You know it, man. Day. Yeah, man. This thing it's... really... Tanya Stevens, mm -hmm. I'm going to ride. Yes. Big chord. Digital B again. <laughs> Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. Because the same angle ride with him is where Sizzler Depp and... Um, no, I, no, I lecture that? I lecture no, with him? No, man. Um, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, lecture man. With yeah him. man. That come from way back. Mm. I think I'll uh, follow him in the studio one. You know, um, ride for the money. Ride for the... Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, same, same with him. Babylon, rhythm. give them a ride for the money. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the work continues. We talk about Dream Dream with Sean Paul right. earlier. Mm -hmm. And we talk about Gangali with the great Louis, Louis culture. Mm -hmm. Zine, we talk about respect with, with Shabba. Mm -hmm. Zine, give them a ride mm -hmm. with Sizzler. Right. Uh, we just mentioned that. No time to gears. No time to gears. Yeah. yeah. To... Sizzler. Yes. yes, Sizzler. That was another rhythm where I look for Bobby Digital. I think Bobby had that rhythm for about six months before him for his planet. Oh, yeah? But but I know say what Sizzler drop on the rhythm there. Bam, that man. was it. Bam. He <laughs> never need another tune. True that, true that, true that. I know say Spraga the pan the rhythm too, but Sizzler the one where we push it on the road. Years. Oh God, man. Mm. Anytime that play, any, you them go crazy anytime that play. To this day, me see yeah. it for myself. So, me witness I it. Actually, I thought, man. man. We're bad from Vibes Cartel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's a, that's Casablanca. A, a Casablanca. Casablanca. Right, that's the same Casablanca. Borough. We got Borough the producer. Yeah, man, we know Casablanca that they pan and perform with Lady G. Yeah, well, that no. I'm trying to remember how the connection went, but I know during the time we done managed Tanya Stevens. Right, okay. I think Tanya did that some voice in for Main Street, which is Danny Brown in Danny Brown, yeah, man. And you know, we go there as manager and thing, and you know, and you know, Dan, we are musicians, so right, we talk. Right, and right. I say, boy, Paul, come lick some for me. But you know, me too, you say, Danny, a joke. Cause, you know, I'm a musician, I'm getting right, the same thing. Right, 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 right. But you know, I'm saying, but no, one sometimes you want a different thing. True that, true that. So, right, but then, I may just say, you know, I may just get up one day and say, all right, boom, we'll go up there. And, and that was it. I may just build a rhythm there and lead the G voice, perform on it.
Yeah. And I think general degree was upon the Yeah, I think general too. degree had a radium. To be honest with you, who hold it there? Who hold it there? Yeah, man, because when you say radiums, I hold it for the man's vice upon the radium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a talk about one or two songs after right. the radium. You know, and hold it for the radium, some of them don't no even remember, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. it, you know? And as I said, that, which, which, which are the radium that you, 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 you built or you worked on, where every time you hear it, you hear that, that warm, fuzzy feeling there. Um. No time to give kind of give me that mm. that feeling, yeah. When the time I hear that, there was a rhythm to what me to do for swash, them in a call swash villain. international v villain rhythm. Okay, you never have whole past song being a man to depend on it. And some girls, when I work with that at the time, me boy cry. Yeah, NBC, the, yeah, NBC did the panel rhythm at all, but that's a rhythm too. That's a classic rhythm. I, I surprised more things never go on it. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Who, who who you made it for? Swatch. Then. So oh yeah, yeah. Swatch. Okay, yeah. Swatch. Mm. Mm. Well, probably is the is the label at the time. Mm. You know, I think uh, we spoke about the fact earlier that you know you were kind of instrumental in in cartel cartels early years. Mm -hmm. You would have played a, a nurturing father role, guide a mentor role. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in the career of quite a few right. entertainers. Yeah. So we talk about Cartel, mm -hmm. you just made mention of Tanya. Tanya Stevens. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah man. You were actually managing yeah, Tanya man. at one point. Managing and producing. I produced an album for her called um, Rough Rider. Rough Rider, okay, yeah. okay. VP, VP licensed it many okay. years ago. <laughs> yeah. But, you know. How, how, how you came by to be, to be working so close with Tanya? Tanya? Mm hmm. You know, the first time I heard Tanya Stevens, I uh, just visiting Jamaica and heard that voice. Um, there was a song that Barry here had produced here, and I was like, whoa, that voice, it's so different and fresh. And you know, like the first time you hear coffee, you, you right, hear something right, different. Dis mm. distinctly different. And I go, we had to you know, find out who that was. And I don't know who the link was, I think it was Count Shelley. Oh, okay. Who, you know, okay, was, okay. had a record store and thing, and I think he was the one who gave me the link. Anyway, with the link up, and, and you know, she was kind of, I think, transitioning between, you know, working at our, she was moving more in, into to Kings, working into Kingston, Kingston. rather, you know, because she's from that Saint side. Uh, yeah, so, but yeah, so that is how we started working and there was just a good chemistry and, you know, we did some, we we're producing some alternative music during that time too, which actually got to a record deal with um, a major label in Sweden. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I don't really talk to her yet yeah. still, so I guess when I talk okay. to her, she will fill in them blanks yeah, of man. still. But, um, you know, I'm going to say, with all artists, you know, it's like, they grow. They want to grow. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and you can't stifle them as a producer. Just and we appreciate the work you yeah. do with Tanya, because yeah, for me, easily, mm -hmm. hands down, Tanya is the greatest female writer mm -hmm. when me ever hear oh, yes. on a record. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Any day of the week, any without, time of the day. Without yeah? a doubt. Without yeah, a doubt. Zane, you also played a very important role in the development of Stevie Face's career. Mm, right, right, right. Yeah, man. Um, I met Stevie at a time when, you know, Vasco Carney was managing him. Mm -hmm. And um, I not and he was being produced by Arrow, so he did all right. He right, did that right, manager right. and producer. producer. And Arrow's my friend, you know what I mean? So, you know, I never want to step in and... You know, because when you're a friend of producers, right, you know, you know say, really go make them a tune, you know what I mean? You know, support them and say, go on, man, run your thing. So, yeah. Steve was that you, that Arrows was, you know, but, you know, Arrows got murdered and stuff. So, um, you know, at that point, Steve was kind of lost. Right. Yeah, you know, wanted a producer. And, and I said, hey, come, come here, man. That time I was working with an artist named Kyan. I don't know if you, you remember the artist. Well, I know the name, yeah, but I really know okay. a lot of, uh, okay. about the work. Yeah, okay. but I know the yeah, name. Because yeah. I have... Kyan, you know, right. the, the group of artists mm -hmm. where you, you work yeah, with. Yeah, man, you know. But it was a different kind of artist. Oh, okay. Very special, different kind of artist. But during that time, I was working with Kyan, and I said, yeah, Steve, you come in. And, you know, he'd come here and hang, just like Cartel used to come here and hang, and, you know, eventually, you know, say, yeah, we could put out, do a one song. And, you know, I'd, I'd have rhythms, and I'd voice Stevie on the rhythms, and, you know, put out and stuff, you know. But I, I still knew that Steve needed some grooming, you know, vocally. Vocal, right. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's not every producer that a musician. It's and true. so, you understand what I'm saying? And you, with, sometimes with the best of intentions, still certain things a musician will hear that a producer so was not a musician. Nah, but yeah. And no disrespect to a, a producer. No, nah, man, a real med man. You understand exactly what I said. Yeah, man. I just saw a thing go. So, you know, so he got that. When he could have sing, I'm going to go up on the piano and say, no, this is the note you need to sing. You need to sing the C. You sing a C sharp now. Sing the C. 
And we now move till him sing the sea. You understand? Say, yeah. yeah. So, you know, that's the kind of thing we did. And, you know, we spend time. You see, teach them, to be honest with you, I don't consider myself a better producer than 80% of the producers of them out there. I don't. Mm. But what I do know, I spend more time on my production than 90% of them in the business. Yeah. You understand? I spend time, yeah. So sometimes that is why I'm going to embed this media. Till uh, 2, 3 o'clock, I try to fix this imperfection in the voice and make sure, say, when it's done, you can I use my melody and my dada done, straighten it out, and when the world hear them Marvel sound wonderful, that. you know what I mean? But, you know, sometimes, you know, producers don't really get that They're not respect. produced. Yeah, you know, we don't get that respect still, you know. Yeah. Say, I but guess because... It's a labor flow for Yeah, and, and, and always say to, as people generally in Jamaica, the final product are that we're interested in now. We're not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not spending our time with the music part of it. And, that, and that's all that matters. You understand what I'm saying? That's all that matters. You know what I mean? You have some artists who take long for voice. I won't call the name, but it doesn't matter. And they're a big hit artist too. But, but they it just take, long take a while. Voice. But when them done, when you hear what you hear, you say, whoa. The the, product. The, yeah, and the public out oh, there will never know, say, are that really go on. So. We know it go, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where do I think go? You spent you, 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 you were around or Stacious was around you at some point in Oh yes, too? yes, Stacious. Me I've always had a caring for female artists because I know what they've got through in the business. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I mean uh, I check for the man <laughs> themselves, but yeah, me yeah, care yeah, for the yeah, female yeah. because I know the pressure them go through in the business. You understand what I'm saying? And sometimes no cure them talented the, Producer, them are going to tell them, say, no, 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 but it's all about something else. Right. You know what I mean? So, they don't say if they come around me, it's about the music. And they're going to tell them to them face if you're not know, sound good, they're tell you, say, you're not know, sound good. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What you need for work, man, for fix it. I'm going to tell you, say, you're not know, sound good, and I can't tell you what, how to remedy it. Right. So, you know, so Stacious came around me. After Cartel left, I think, yes, yeah, Stacious, you know, because they always find me. Kind is a youth that show up on my gate on a Sunday evening, say, Barrington Levy tell him about me and say, say me's a great producer, I'm for cut, I'm for fine. He just show yeah. up with him guitar on him shoulder on my gate. I'm go there and I say, hey, I'm say, him is a singer. I'm say, sing for me. I'm sit him down and play him guitar and sing and amazed. Mm. I'm gonna get amazed easily. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah man, so. so Tanya, Stacia, mm. Stevie, mm. Kayan, yeah. MBC. Yeah, man. Many Cartel. Besenta. Besenta. Yeah, many of them. Many of them pass through my hands. Many of them. You know? uh -huh. I'm just saying, I just look for them like my kids who, them come off the edge and move out of the house. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Stage, them grow up. Mm. We know what I think, man. We know what I think. You, and, and, and this is it now. You see, some people, they are either just a musician, so mm -hmm. they play something. Zane or them a producer, them produce some song, and them is an engineer, them be some engineer where you have covered all those bases and you would have excelled in every department. So along that line there, so I don't know about the Excel part, but <laughs> we can we can help myself. <laughs> it's a good thing. So you humility not kill nobody, you know, cause we, we can help we can help myself. I'm <clears throat> I learn for help myself, Carl. To be honest with you. I don't think I'm born with no great gift of music. Yeah. I think I'm born with great ears. But I don't think I'm born with no... You know, some musicians, you sit down and hear them playing. No, like, bro. Damn. I wish I could have played so. I don't want them musicians. Yeah. But I know if I put it together and fake it and make people think, say, they want to hear something great. I don't know if you understand. Yeah, I don't know if you understand. Yeah, we can put it together. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Um, and in the process you now, over the years, I have to learn to help myself because sometimes I need an engineer and I need to say, right, I'm busy on a project. I'm going to go far in and I have to sit down and wait till him come back and I'm busy now and I say, you know, so I've got to just learn to do this myself and spend yeah, the time and yeah, I invest my time in that. I you know, invest my time outside of my kids, I mostly invest my life in you know, music. music, yeah. Which yeah, aspect of the music you, you, you enjoy the most? Playing, producing, engineering? All right. When I was just a musician, play bass and keyboard and stuff, and build rhythm and thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have no interest in engineering because to me it's like 
engineering boring. And then most the days when we are used 24 track tape. Right. And you know, 24 track tape is not like when you just hit the return key upon a computer, you're back to the start of the yeah, cell. Yeah. You have a start here, go real and and catch you up. Yeah, and then sometimes you have to go punch in the same have to go forward and rewind and find the spot and we just no, we never had that patience. That. Yeah, we never had that patience of it. And we just didn't just neglect it for years. But as I went along now, starting my own, buy my own little equipment in my house and stuff. I have to buy my little mixing board. So you start learning how to connect the little mixing board. And the same principle apply with a 12 track to right, a 48 right. track. It don't really make no difference overall. So I might have some more features and bells mm -hmm. and whistles, but at the end of the day. So it was necessity to make me learn this. You know what I mean? Necessity. Production, to be... To graduate from a, a musician to a producer was kind of just natural for me, just instinctively. You just want to help some other people and make the music the way you feel it. Right, right, and right, right. Because if me go play bass for Bobby, he might go overdub something upon it where I mean, me, me probably wouldn't even think of playing and me probably not like. Right, right. You understand know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But me can't do nothing about it because I'm in production. Pin, pin. Do, mm. pin, pin. But when I'm in production now, I can say, yeah, this is what I want. Yeah, you do it how you want it. Yes, yes. And guess what? If you do it how you want and it fail, you have to take respons respons right, full right, responsibility. Right, right. I mean, I have a responsibility problem. You take responsibility. Oh, you have a responsibility yeah, man, problem. Yeah, <laughs> man. I always say with my production, you know, I'm, I learned that from Willie Lindo. Because Willie Lindo is a fierce day and serious man. Oh, yeah. Know? And Willie will tell you, say, if you're telling say you don't like how that sound for the record, he will tell you, apart from some colourful words, he uh. will tell you, say, I saw me want it. Uh. That is exactly how me want it. I'm in a business if you don't like it, but I saw me want it. So I kind of learn that. And not that you don't listen to people or God advice. Me I work with an artist, I always want them opinion on you know, how you feel about uh -huh, that. Uh -huh. like, I'm not forcing nothing upon people. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. You tell me which one of them you yeah, enjoy more to do. Whoa, whoa, all right. So, years ago, I must say, this had no interest in me. Mm. But lately, yeah, like for the last engineering, at the part of, especially, you know, using a computer, right. you know, Pro Tools and all that, I find it very fascinating. Because when we think back, we were in the dark ages, you know, 15 years before that. But we made great music still. Great music, Sometimes, man. Sometimes I tell some of my students, them say, and that with that for them laugh, them laugh. And that you have to do that backward man. I saw them, I said, oh, one of them that backward. But that's what we had to do to I, it never come in like none to me back then. It was just it was a natural, drive. yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Mm. But engineering you no know, may have a love feet now. Yes. Because I see where I can change. If we record something and it might sound basic to me, before I had to live with that. Until I engineer come. Yeah, fix it or you want to fix I it. I can set it you now if you want a kick jump for sound different. We can do it in a Pro Tools. Just use some different plugins and compressors and EQs and get it done the way me want it. Yeah. <laughs> in and and I introduce you as a musician, producer, engineer, educator. Mm -hmm. In 2016, you launch IMTP Institute of Music, Music Technology, Technology and Production. And production. Talk right. to me about that. All right. So. <laughs> I think it's in my genes, mm. the teaching of my genes. My oh, mad, mommy. My, yeah, my mother was a teacher, my sister was a teacher. So I think it's just um, aunties that was teacher. So it just Natural naturally, I think, yeah, even though I don't really consider myself a teacher, teacher per se. Mm -hmm. You know, like when they, they went to teacher's college and, you know, the formalities, <laughs> right? Like, yeah, you, right. you know what I mean? But <clears throat> I've acquired so much knowledge. And I'm, I'm a person who likes to read. I read a lot. Mm -hmm. I just watch video. I read. Sometimes I watch a video, I more I read the comments than, than, than I watch the video. Yeah. After, yeah. You know. So, as, a, as an educator, I saw a need for young... I got students. I, I mean, I talk to a big producer and I tell me, say, if we turn up the smear drum. Mm -hmm. Smear, you know. Smear. It, not sneer, you know, it's a smear. smear. <laughs> and I really the hi-hat in my talk about, you know. Right, right, right. But him don't know the difference between a hi-hat and a sneer drum. Oh, man, yeah, smear the drum. smear. The smear. You know, so, you know, I mean, them thing, you know, I say, I say, and he was a big producer. Mm. And I see them thing, you know, I say, you know, so and sometimes you got some students, I see some youth, and them have some, them watch an a, a elder engineer come in and them say, I right, set that channel there for the hi-hat. 
and him just no say I just that's it in the right. never use because like him take a photo and copy I it that. and say I eat that. So if now experiment and vary from that, it must hold that. You understand what I'm saying? And realize that reggae is such an important music out there in the world. And you know, and, and as I said, it's just a need for the training for the young ones coming in. You know, and my courses that I offer, they are beat making and music production. Oh, okay. One. So I, I I try to teach my students everything that I know, all the tricks of the trade that I know. You know what I mean? And I, I keep up with the technology as well. Right, you right. Know I mean? you're I not computer for a yeah, I don't, I don't let the technology leave <laughs> Leave it behind. Yeah, right, yeah right, not right, at right. all. Let's see if that is yeah, And top of it, mm. I teach Pro Tools. And I teach audio engineering. So the audio engineering aspect of it is to use the mixing board, the patch board, how to mic up a live drum set, how to do um, audio, live audio, live audio for a concert. Location. You understand what I'm saying? How to record an acoustic guitar or, or you know, a vocalist. You know what I mean? That's sort of stuff. The so, whole gamut of the yeah, music man. thing, oh, man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah? yes. Yeah, man. Where, where are your courses offered? Right here at Bootcamp. At right Bootcamp. Here. Right here at Bootcamp. Mm. Yep, right and here. and that has been going four but, and three, seven years. Yes, yes, seven years. And time flies coming like it's yesterday. <laughs> like it's yesterday. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah. In yeah. in you also do charitable stuff. I think in twenty twenty one you launch R H P C. R H P A C. R H H P A C. Right. Oh, performing. All right. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 Yes. So that that you know I don't say. My mother, to me, was very significant in my journey in music yes. because she was the one who bought the piano and put it in the house. Without that piano, I don't think I'd have ventured into music. Right. You know, she was a musician, so I'm sure it was in my genes somewhere. But um, she was also an educator. So, and she was from this community. Right. And served this community for over 20 years as a teacher. So I said, you know, for years I've been itching that I wanted to do something with the youths, and it just never happened, never happened. And you know, there was always something that I was busy, or I was traveling, and I just made up my mind. Um, 2021, say, mm -hmm. I'm going to start it. And I remember, me and my wife, we, we printed some flyers, and we went down to the shopping center in Harborview, and we started. Some people take it and look for that. That's <laughs> right. Right in front of you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man, right in front of you. And it was like, uh, <laughs> and we, were, we, we bleached from the shopping center that whole day. We were on to TSTs everywhere. And I remember, we said, right, next week we were interested. Come. And I think it was probably about 10. I remember we started down at the library. Here in have of you, you know, we'd mm, call them up mm, before and say, yeah, yes. they like to use the, the, the library. library facility to come on. They say, yeah, man, they welcomed it. So, boom, first day we went, the person who has the key for the library showed up very late. So, <laughs> the people were there waiting. We were out there in the sun. Mm -hmm. There was a little plum tree out in front of the library, and that's where we had our first class. I'll never forget that, under the plum tree. And... We started and everything was going fine until COVID came and like we said, oh, we have to suspend mm. all programs. What we're going to do is like, damn. How many years I waited for this opportunity to just teach the kids them, you know? Because we're teaching them for free. Right. And I said, you know something? I'm going to carry it to me. I know these parents don't know me. I mean, they might hear the name. Right, right, right. And, you know what I mean? To trust people with your children is... is, is Something yeah, I wouldn't really serious. do that. Yeah, right. you understand what I said? But all the kids showed up. Mm. I said, you know, I'm moving it to my backyard, which I did send you a video. Right, right, right. Backyard. Yes, I did, you and, did. Yeah, and they all showed up, and that was it. And every Saturday, I'd pack up my instruments, then some of the stuff from you know, the studio. I bought stuff like violins, um, keyboard, guitar, um, trumpet, trombone. I bought all that stuff out of my pocket. I said, I wanted to start. I'm not even going to wait. For donations or contributions, I just wanted to get it going. And the, the, the second video that I sent you, that is that was right, a recital right. in August. Oh. That's the first time the community or the parents got to hear, to hear them. them. You know, the parents just drop them off and I sat there and I leave them, them. And you know, we do a thing. And that was and everybody jaw drop when they hear this, these kids. You know, because the first video was when they were just starting, starting out. right, okay. <laughs> when they heard them after that, everybody was like, whoa, we love what you're doing with the kids. Yeah. You know, and that to me means a lot. <laughs>
Initiative man, and the acronym stands for Ruby mm. Henton Performing Arts, Arts Center. And so it is in my mom. She was Ruby Henton, right? Mm -hmm. Nice touch, yes. man. Yep, nice, man. nice touch. Yeah. And it is, it is. It's now twenty growing. plus. Twenty plus. Yep. From ten. Oh, yes, and growing and growing. You know, constantly parents like. I want my child to, you know, we're running out of space here, as you can see, because I want to start the man in the room left full, the room left full sometimes, you want at the back. Okay. So, yeah, you know, but. Greatness, you know, man. Yes. And it's yeah. also good to see that the, the kids mm -hmm. are also seeing the benefit of oh, that and, yes. and taking advantage of it. Oh, yes. Oh, A great yes. musical, oh, man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. They're, they're loving it. Some of them, we vex with them parents if they don't, if they don't come. come on a Saturday. Yeah. They're yeah. loving it. And, you know. You know, just putting you out there, you know, we're here for, for the kids in Harbour View and the surrounding too. We're not healing it or right, right, not right. welcome anybody else. If you come off of the hills, it don't matter. You know what I mean? We really want just kids to learn to play yes, music. And, yeah, before I move on from here, for the people out there who want to get in touch with mm -hmm. computer part, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. how would they find you? All right. Um, um, my website, you can get to my website, which is computerpaulreggae.com, C-O-M-P-U-T-E-R-P-A-U-L-R-E-G-G-A-E, -E -E, one word, dot com. Or if you are in, interested in the school, you can contact me at imtp.mymusicstaff.com. That's imtp.mymusicstaff.com. Yeah. Great works, man. Yes. Great works, man. And and phone number, contact information will be there on, yeah, okay. on the website as yeah. well, email as well too. I think you also worked with the Cultural Development Commission as their executive creative producer for yes. the Jamaica 50 Celebration song. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about yeah, that. I, I did over the years. I've been um, working with GCDC. They, Oh, wow, many years. You okay. Know? I think I entered the, the contest one time with Besenta. I think Besenta oh, said, yes, yeah. World is oh. in trouble. World is in trouble. Okay. Yeah, but I wasn't really that interested in work, like entering songs in it. I never you know that I mean? you yeah. it, you were with Besenta at the time when yes. you entered. Yeah, man. Yes. And I have to big up Mrs. Marcia Hextall because she was one of those who kind of believed in me too and always encouraged me and, you know try to get me involved. Right, know. okay. And, you know, you know, G C D C is like giving back. It's right. Okay, back, okay, you okay, know? okay. You know, and um to, and I, I do a lot of adjudication for the school festival thing, you know, um um Avery Crook scandal. She's the one from J C D C who, you know, will always sit it hey, Paul, you need to come be a judge for you know the kids them. Right, you know? so right, right. to this year. Uh, you are you are an adjudicator. Man, uh, uh, yeah, that little little theatre. Okay. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, man. Not to give back to me. Love Jamaica. You know? Realize yeah, that. Me love Jamaica with a passion. Man, you can't move me from Jamaica. Jamaica, I'm a whole man. man. Yeah, I love me realize you said that one of the one of the mistakes <laughs> you made is taking too long, long to come, to come back, back home. Yes, man. Too long for come back home. I appreciate foreign and yes. what it did for me, cause me grew also as a musician and my heavens opened up to enough things. But Jamaica is. Is it for me? I yes. love Jamaica. I love reggae music. Probably more than I love Jamaica still. I love reggae yeah, music. Yeah, reggae music for me is the greatest music in the world. It's, you know, and I try to impart that to my students. Amen say, to that, man. Yeah, man. Amen oh, God, that. man. Reggae music, you don't even know. Man. We can't find words for describe Amen to that, reggae man. Music. Amen to that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and as I said, I kind of realize that business-wise, you are, you are very savvy. Mm -hmm. But as it relates to the work that you have done and publishing and royalty, things mm -hmm. are... Mm -hmm. In place. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Um <laughs> me no get me not gonna say me no get burned still. Right. Teach I'm them. Say, you I'm say, me get, be a man, me get burned. And you know when you're young, you all sign bad contracts. Some contracts will come back, come hit me all ten and fifteen years later. The one pulled out my say, Oh you signed this. <laughs> you gave up your rights. I'm yeah. like, oh man, it's got you done. 
you just cut your losses and just move on. You know what I mean? Because there's always another hit around the corner there there's somewhere. There's always another hit, always around, another hit the around the corner somewhere. You know what I mean? But the, the, for, as far as the business, I came up in a time too. When I was living in New York, Nobody not sharing. There was no they're YouTube not, or no yeah. Google. But they're not telling you. Nah. Know, mm, <laughs> you know, so tell me about this publishing thing. From 19, from, I was in Moniaka. I was like, I want to know what this and Nobody, I remember. I had this one bridging. He was an elder too. Um, Glenn Adams. Mm. You know, he's a well, great Jamaican musician to play with hippie boys, the whale okay, and okay. family man. Them. He was part of Upsetters. Yeah, man. Can I pronounce hippie Scratch, boys and... Scratch Perry, studio man. Around the time there. But you know, most of bridging and he might always sit me as a little youth in a New York, I said, boy, I'm like where you play. Come. And he, I'll be one of the few people who would let into his home studio. Oh, okay. So me and him can never perish. But Glenn knew about publishing. And I'd pick him. Uh, he just give me little bits and pieces. But he did introduce me finally to my publisher, who I've been with from that time. From that time. From 1981 till now, mm -hmm. which is the Royalty Network in New York. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah, and you know, I'm sure my loyalty and big up Frank Lewall, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I forget all of them shout outs, you know, because, yes. you know what I mean? It's important, you know. Mm. But, um, yeah, I. I I had to fight. I don't think I never had to fight, you know. I'm work on me doing Shabba them. You have to fight, fight, for... fight, 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 but, you know, who came to settlements? Who came to settlements? We're glad you know? to hear that. Yeah, How man. would you put in the work? You yeah, must man. get PFR out of all, Yes, because them time there's some money that are running at the thing. You understand know what I'm saying? So, yeah, well, if you never get paid then, I don't know when you're going to get paid, you know what I mean? But, yeah, it's all good, you know, because I'm going to say, you learn from your mistakes too, mm. yeah, and you know, learn to brush yourself off yes. and move on, and you know. Yeah, I'm glad for you that. Of face all, the world, that's mine. <laughs> face the world, that's right. Of the artists that you have worked with, though, mm -hmm. which one of them was, you know, you found it really and truly easy to work with. Like it was just uh -huh. you, you're coming at the studio and the thing just click, was, click, click, click. Yeah, it was just a vibe. Kyan was was a good click. Tanner was a good click too. We we just like yeah. Recently, I've been working with a group called Cusick. They just put Cusick, out their first. Oh, the EP. And Cusick was mm. very, very easy to work with. You know what I mean? I'd have a track and them come in and them listen and say, Hey, Paul, we like that track there. And them just sit down half an hour. Right, the song. And song right. And ready for voice. And it was just like that. So the whole, we, we have about 30 songs. Mm. <laughs> you well, know, good tree, you know put on. yeah, put on, put on. Good yeah. songs. See the premium. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't work with a lot of people. So I'm kind of a little choosy, and not, not no I thing, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you know, bad look down upon about. But me very choosy who we work with, you know what I mean, musical. Me don't want necessarily work with everybody. Me at least not at the Me been there, done that. You understand? I understand so, that yeah, fully, man. So I'm very selective as to who I work with. Yeah. I mean, and once I see something special in you, and you know, check out that's yeah. all our vibes, you know what I mean? Because it's more than just the music. Because sure. I know all the talented people it's who are not nice. It's more than just the music. Who are not nice, you understand what I'm saying? So it's, it's more than that. Yeah, you know? and, and whilst you have worked with so many people, though, is there anybody where the man who worked with it? Where you, to, you know, say, me and my brother are going to, I had an empress going to a studio one day. A problem. <laughs> oh, and I mentioned, there's one that slipped my mind. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jimmy Cliff. <laughs> Jimmy Cliff was the one of the easiest artists me ever work with in my life. But no, me have Jimmy somewhere for me. Oh, in yeah, man. Sort of yeah, man. Jimmy Cliff. I can see clearly. I now. can see. No, me have that somewhere in my notes. They man. left out my yeah, biggest yeah. shows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And I never realized they left. The, yeah, man. I produce, I can see clearly now. Played pretty much most of the instruments on that record. Work with yeah, Jimmy Cliff. May I have his Jack C. The man, <laughs> Jimmy Cliff. May I have his summer product there. Never no, give the crap now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Easy to work with. Easy to work with. Yeah, and him still work together. Yeah, man, we still, we, no, we haven't worked for a while. But, oh, um, I mean, but you know, we, 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 we talk every now and then. <laughs> we talk but, to you again, make you know, Jim, since money I look for you. Oh, God, man. Yeah, man. I'm sure him would have loved to teach you. I, I, would, I, would love, I, would, I would love that. Because for me, I'm going to say this publicly. For me, at this, you know, we have a Bob's and we have a D mm. Brown and yeah, man. we talk about Peter Touch and but but. Living, yeah, man. No, Jimmy, 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 Cliff. Cliff. Jimmy, Cliff Jimmy Cliff. That yeah, is weird. Right. That, that is it. As far as living, so, yeah, man. Living, as yeah. who is living, yeah, you know, oh, we still have burning spears there. But doubt. Jimmy Cliff is, is, is the man right there. So, I remember when we were when we were voicing him, I can see clearly you now 
when I'm building the track, uh, well, build the track for mixing that. Well, you know, most of it, and then I took it abroad and did some overdubs on it. But Jimmy would be always singing. In like, I'm saying, Paul, you have a sing it again? <laughs> no. I work yeah. with some young artists who them sing it two times and I'm saying, I'm saying, Father, you're not ready for voice it yet. You build a track in there, you create. So you need that, that vibe from the artist. Yeah, but Jimmy is like, I may have said, may have said Jimmy, no, you can't take a break, Jimmy. Rest your voice, little. The great Jimmy Cliff. Yeah, the great, the great Jimmy Cliff will tell me, say, yeah, I'll sing it again, you know. No, man, not a problem. I'll sing it again. I remember Jimmy Cliff when he was voice in, in bringing a long cane, you know, sugar cane. Yeah. And every time he take a break. You're eating sugar cane. So, so Jimmy, why you do that? I'm saying, oh, you didn't know. That's good for the voice. The, the cane juice mm. lubricate the voice back. So I learned something that yeah. day from Jimmy Cliff. I you can know. see clearly now. Yeah, man, but Jimmy was a joy to work with. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Very easy to work with. Legendary figure, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, so that's the, on my top of the park. That, that, yeah. that, that, <laughs> I want me to ask, you know, say, is there anybody in other business where you're never going to the studio with, but, yeah, so you know, say, if me and that person are going to the studio, we can create magic. Wow. Mm. I mean, I mean, there are quite a few of them. Mm. Um, for me, when we see recently, yeah, Martima. Martima. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful yeah. voice, man. Yeah, oh God, man. Me see, so, so you food. and me just have to like, whoa, whoa. I'm glad to say Jamaica have a Martima. Not that Jamaica don't have many great right, stuff, but right. that sound there and that feel there. Eh? Remind me of Kayan, Kayan too. Kayan, Kayan was that kind of that. vibe too. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, still man. working with Kayan? Um, plan to. Plan to, okay. Plan to. We started some work that we need to finish it. Yeah, so I do only put out two singles with Ken. Okay. Freedom and No More. And my videos up, you know. They, 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 I, can, go, I go and uh, go check them out. I know, know, freedom. I know the freedom, freedom. track, yeah, yeah but in terms of no mm. of it, I haven't right. listened to it. See? Right. I hope you and Martin can link up one of them oh, times because... Man. That would be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talented, yeah. the truth, oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. Talented. Yeah, man. Assessing your journey, musically, mm -hmm. Sir Paul, when you, when you assess it, when, when you look at it, what, what gives you that sense of gratitude, a sense of joy if you say yes? Me, me, me kind of write that in the book of reggae music. <clears throat> I, I think... I feel that way about most of my work, especially the ones that <coughs> I still hear now, mm -hmm. 30 years and 40 years after they make, that I can still hear them. Even now they hear a song string up here, love you too much to wear. And I say, wow, <laughs> that song they can't do that. I'll go with, go with my girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, you know, all of that. And just to know that you're appreciated for what you do. Because all me see music, you know, it's not me. Because I, I, when I go approach us, Building a song in the studio, I don't look on it like it's the great computer part. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. It's just an inspiration, divine inspiration from the Almighty reach me. And sometimes it don't reach too, and you come out with nothing. But you have to give thanks for the time that you do, and you come out <laughs> with something. I can say, yeah, give thanks to the Almighty for that. Yeah, you know right. I mean, I don't take no credit really for say, yes. you know, me. That's why. For one, I've always been this kind of person to teach them where. Can you not do all the other interview business? No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, no. Shower, I appreciate this thing because. That, I know that, you're not too, too do that something shower, like that. Very much in you know, the background. You're perfect to be yeah, behind man, the scenes. Very much. You know. And, you know, as I say, you know, me, me, after years of being in the business, you, know, you get to a stage sometimes. You know, so a little less of the limelight. You know, you know what I mean? You know, some people love it. All of them life. thrive on that Yes, one. yes, yes. But, but to you, each his own answer. I, I thrive on doing good work. Mm. You know, so spending time for my work and then when people hear them say, wow, I like that. You know, so I said, Stevie Fierce hit in England at a time when nobody from Jamaica was happening. And I said, that same song was sung, sung by Sanchez and Dennis right, Brown. And right, I think right. John Holt too. And these are, these are three great voices. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Steve is is, is great, right. but those yeah, are... To be fair. Right, to, to be, be fair. fair. Yeah, to, to, to be call, fair. To call a spade a spade. Yeah, that's true. Right? But, theme won't come hit. It, 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 you know it, what I'm saying? So well, man. Yeah. And, you know, and the people in my England appreciate and embrace him and love him just because of that one song that come, come hit. I mean, he had other good songs right, before, right, right. but that song was one. Day. So, for me, my accomplishment for me is just... Just for no say, the music that I've been a part of 
still lives on and still touching people. Can well, music do amazing to things on. to people, you know. True, I'm gonna jump off a building and hear, hear a song play where reminding my mother or him childhood and it's like Wrong decision. Sure. Yeah, wrong decision. <laughs> and change your mind. You know what I mean? I gotta take some sleeping pills. Music you know? powerful, man. Oh yes, man. music In powerful. Every, some people every. try to shape the narrative around music, right. but music is a powerful thing. Yes, man. yes. Yeah, no doubt. Is there anything that Sir Paul Enton hope to add to the musical legacy? Like, where? Yeah, I say, you know what I said. I still want me use them for proud of them father. Can me do that something? Yeah. Um, I think, I think, for me, my greatest legacy will be to see these six to 16 year olds that I'm teaching. Because the concept of Ruby Hendon Performing Arts Center is once they get to be like 18, they're going to come back and teach the six year olds. And it just go, so whether I'm not, whether I'm not I'm involved in Succession planning. Yeah, they're going to mm -hmm. come back and teach them, you understand? So I just want to see a whole generation of musicians come out of that. A whole generation need it. Of, of engineers and producers come out of, of IMTP that I'm teaching right now. Yeah, that is, you know... I like that. that. Yeah, man. Like that. That, that for me is legacy. You know, mm. Grammy Awards and them things, they are not for me. That, <laughs> you know I mean? Some other man, a big thing for them, but for me, I know that. Yeah. You know? See, the award upon the award, I come from Harborview Primary School. Yeah, love that. And me, 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 it's right there, right on the gold place. record. Yeah, man, it's right on the gold record because yeah. it means something. My primary school, where my mother used to teach, give me a word and say, boy, for your outstanding contribution to the school. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They have a day when they honor me and bring me in front of the kids, them and yeah, that means more to me than I go on road and people party for your shoulder and tell us. Tell us, you humility that kills yeah, people, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. tell me the ball. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that great is that in itself, because to achieve what you have achieved and so grounded and, and humble with it, you know, we have to respect that. See, when you look at the journey again, is there anything you say? You know, say, me don't do that something different. I don't do that something. I should I do that. Me know you say you wish you did come back from New York. I probably, I pro, I pro, yeah, that was one. Uh, professionally, as a musician. As a musician, yeah, man. Yeah. Musically speaking. I probably wouldn't manage artists. You don't do no management? No, not artists. You don't like it? No, sir. <laughs> it's, it's one of the worst jobs on earth. Because oh. it's, it's taking on so much... Mm. You know what I mean? Take a lot of time. Yeah, take take a, a lot of it right. You take a lot of time and you know you're at somebody's disposal where they're ready for yes. get rid of you and move on to the and next. Some artists yeah. to deal with the yeah. Paul, man. Yeah man, yeah. That so that is a role. I mean, you know, there have been people who offer me that I'm like, you no, know, I'm no, 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 have no interest in it. Mm. You know, I'm just a producer or I'm a musician. Any one of them you want to hire me in that capacity, but as a manager I have no interest in that. So, you know, outside of that, um, no, no regrets at all yeah. on the journey, yeah. none at all. I read him when I Paul Hinton bill and a computer Paul involved in it, where mm -hmm. you really love to hear, like when you hear that read him there, you say, Oh God, man, I only for them, man, 90% uh, uh, that was Sly and Rabbit them doing at them uh, life, uh, or Steely and Cleo doing at them life, I said, damn, I wish I made the bill that read him there, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so, you know what I mean? And it's just... Respect for them too. You understand what I say? Because we all came up in an era too. We're competitive, you know. As it should be, yeah, man. Because yeah, competition breeds some oh, breed Yeah, greatness, man. You know? but, but it wasn't compet competition with no vileness like. You understand? It wasn't bad mind. Man. Yeah, yeah, no. Man. It was, you something. A man come and say, you're the bad with me of steel and cleave here. Yeah. You want to build something want better some, than that. Yeah, mm. something better than that. Healthy competition. Yes, man. man. That's a, that was the 90s. 90s, the whole pack great dance hall music, you know, in the 90s. You know what I mean? Golden well, years. Yes, man. Yeah, man. But mm. yeah, so all of them, man, me have, have, have fans up, you know, Sly and Ravi, Steely and Cleavy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, enough musicians. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm a fan of them, man. I give them great respect and honor still. You yes. know what I mean? Oh, you know, me care, me care them. Jump yeah, stick for them, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. We're not feeling no way about that. Yeah, well, I heard you made mention of your kids earlier. How many mm. of them? I'm um, six. six. I have six kids. Mm hmm. And everybody had yeah man everybody everybody well. everybody grown everybody grown now everybody you know. yeah <laughs> everybody grown yes, congrats for the yes. youth sir, man yes man and everybody see. grown you mm. know. and yeah. you if you're a big man bro <laughs> yeah, go on, man. <laughs> we do it still as in the grip on the two sides of the but the man look like he might take care of himself, man. Well, but I have to, you know, I have to, I have to, because I want to be around for a little more to at least 
So some of these babies that I'm teaching mm -hmm. grow up and, you know what I mean, yeah. be productive people in society. I say, yeah. hey, that look old man, they used to teach me, you know, yeah. Yeah, man, that's going to be a big joy for me. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know if Mr. Anton is mine? He said that. Okay, so what, what are you looking at before? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah. So, bigger boss, it, mm -hmm. as we say, for, for, for learn whilst doing the research, the depth of the man's contribution to the music, mm -hmm. like there are a lot of revelations for me, like me, I say, eh? then a computer for all this, yeah? so I learned a lot. Yes, I, yes. I can't tell you, so this yeah. is an interview where we cover yeah. Before we do the interview, we didn't know everything, like thing. a lot yes. of things. Right, right. I, I learned, and me, I say, yo, the man, the man, greater. Me know you probably don't want to accept that, but be a son. The level of work you have done and the mm -hmm. successes that you have had, mm -hmm. you're a great name in the space, man. Well, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of people like you know they see me and I'm say me try to be you know mm. low profile and you know, but a lot of people once them come on me and them say so tell me some of the and when I start telling them the song, so you do that. And that, and that, kind of you know nowadays, if you make probably two it for them, you as a star for life. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> two, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, back in my idea, you have to make 20 yeah, and 20 more. Two, and, two, yeah, you understand know what I'm saying? Two, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, you know, you couldn't, you know what I mean? You look back from careers at Dennis Brown and John Wilton, I mean, how much hits them have. Yes. You know what I mean? That was what was required for greatness. So much hits Sly and Robbie make, that was what was required for greatness. You couldn't just come and lick one or two hits. And, and you're great. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So. <laughs> but father, hey, Dad, it's a job sitting down at the man's presence. Yes, and as me and say, you have people who don't do a quarter of what you have done and achieved, and them, mm. you know, son, so me really and truly respect the humility the and the humbleness. Them. It's all about the, the music. Greatness, it's all man. about the music, man. It's all about mm. the music. Me just have a vessel for the music past you, but yeah, for me, if you go take no rare feet, no mm. sir. That's all right. Yeah, that's why I'm still away from yeah. the crowd. As that's all right. May I tell you again, <laughs> well, for what the man has done for the music, with the music and to the music, I really appreciate it, brother. Well, thank you. Understand? you. And as we normally say, people like you, make we can do what we are doing, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's also a job to sit down and document the man's musical journey and contribution. Well, you see me? Because well, it deserves to be so I like Well, it. before the interview started, that's what I said to you. I said, I appreciate what you're doing because somebody has to catalogue the slide on bars, yeah, the Dean yeah, Frazers, the Steve Dean Frazers, yes, yeah. you know what I mean, and the works that have been done, you know, over the years, the Danny Brown is, you know what I'm saying, Cleavy, you know, yeah, somebody has to do it because 20 and 30 years from now, when history is rewritten, because history always gets rewritten, right, right. you'll have the documentation. So, no, man, this I is, saw this it, is I, saw, I saw it go, man. Yeah, I saw it, it real go. I mm. see it from the asses, mode. Yeah, yeah, man, I know, enjoy it. And for mm. me, every interview is an experience to learn. You yeah. understand? Because mm -hmm. we're we young in terms of the music, the age of the music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I learn, we are learned. Yes. You understand? We don't yes. know all things, and, and it's a joy to sit down beside a man like you. We have the, the history, mm -hmm. and, and we collect it. You understand right. what I mean? I say, so give right. joy, whether, whether. Yes. greatness, no, man. man. Respect, Appreciate man. the man's yeah, man. contribution to the music. Great, Every man. time. You understand? Yeah. Blessings, man. Blessed, blessed, blessed. <laughs>